everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be unboxing this tamiya grasshopper 2 rc car kit this is one of tamiya's 110 scale entry level off-road racers this is a 2017 re-release version of the original grasshopper 2 from 1988 this kit is going to have modern electronics like the hobbywing 1060 electronic speed controller that is inside this box the grasshopper 2 comes with a hard plastic body sitting on top of a rigid tub chassis. Let's read what's on the top of the box. Ready to assemble radio control model kit. Re-release and updated version of the Grasshopper 2 from 1988. Lightweight and rugged bathtub type frame. Coil sprung front and rear suspension. Sealed gearbox with differential gear. Front rib tires for a straight ahead grip. Rear spike tires for a powerful drive. Type 380 motor included. Compatible with separately sold RS 540SH and 540J motors. And this very small light blue text says, replace plastic bearings with separately sold ball bearings when using type 540 motor. That's good to know. I was going to use ball bearings for this kit anyway, as I do with all Tamiya kits. Let's take a look at the side panel of the box. Let's go from the front to the back of the car. This is a resin front bumper, a swing axle front suspension, front coil spring, semi pneumatic front rib tire for great straight ahead grip, lightweight one piece wheel, steering tie rod, ABS resin bathtub type frame, steering servo which is sold separately, battery pack sold separately, Receiver sold separately. ESC is sold separately, but we know that this kit includes the Hobbywing 1060 electronic speed controller. We'll take a look at that. Receiver switch is right here. Nowadays, the switch is not on the receiver. It is actually attached to the ESC. Type 380 motors right here. Rear coil spring. Fully enclosed gearbox with differential gear. Eight spoke lightweight one piece wheel semi-pneumatic rear spike tire and realistic polystyrene resin racing buggy body with driver figure all right let's slide this over and take a look at the other side again it says right here separately required items the transmitter batteries for the transmitter a battery a charger a receiver servo and esc in our particular case the esc is already included let's look at the other side of the box this re-release version of the Grasshopper 2 two-wheel drive RC off-road car assembly kit features a number of updates while keeping largely to the design of the original released in 1988. The length is 400 millimeters, width is 223 millimeters, the height is 136 millimeters, and the weight is approximately 760 grams. Streamlined construction makes this kit perfect for less experienced users. That's why I mentioned in the beginning that this was a entry level kit. Separately sold option parts can be used to soup up the model. Rugged chassis to withstand off-road driving. Front swing axle and rear rolling rigid suspension setup actuated by coil springs for a responsive drive. Fully enclosed gearbox with differential gear aids smooth cornering includes highly realistic injection molded polystyrene resin body, marking stickers, and driver figure. We've pretty much gone over everything in this diagram. Let's take a look at this. This gives you a cutout of the front and rear axles. All right, let's open the box and see what's inside. This caught my eye. I bet you this is the Hobby Wing ESC. There it is. It's not retail packed, but that's fine. This is the plastic body. It's already white. 
but the manual is going to instruct you to paint it anyways. It's really hard to tell on camera, but this is actually off-white, and I've already bought the paint. There are the tires, there's the front, and those are the two rear tires. Let's see what's in this box right here. This is the front bumper. This is the driver figure. And then on this side is the servo saver. This is going to be the differential gears. This is the parts bag. Inside I see body clips, a couple brackets, some screws, a couple nuts and some spacers. This is the C parts bag and it has the coil springs. Uh, that is a steering arm. We've got another cross wrench. And there are some pins right here for the suspension arm. And bubble wrapped in this is going to be the 380 motor. But let's take a look. This is the B parts bag. And I see the steering rods, some zip ties, double-sided tape. This is probably an axle, some screws, and then some rod ends, uh, most likely for the steering. This is the A parts bag. Again, I'm not sure what these are. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. I see some grease. Uh, these are the plastic bushings, which you can replace with ball bearings. And I see some pins. I see some gear shafts and some screws in the back. These are the front and rear wheels. For some reason, this is the same color as the body, but they don't ask you to paint these. This is the plastic tub chassis. Everything is basically built on this. This bag is the gearbox. Pretty much the entire rear axle. This is the motor side. And in this bag, I see the suspension arms. And I see some, oh, this is the battery compartment cover. I see some damper parts right here. Pretty cool. There is an antenna tube. Dig out these manuals. This one comes with every Tamiya RC kit. It's all the disclaimers. This is the Grasshopper 2 manual. And we'll go through this page by page right after this. And here are the decals. And these are not pre-cut, so we're going to need to cut those out before we apply them. All right, this is the Grasshopper 2 manual. 
On the front page is just the artwork of the buggy and a picture of the car without the body on. Flip over. And this column right here is the items that are required. It actually specifies the size of your servo, which is pretty much just a standard size servo. Basically, this is an illustration of what's written here. And you will need three color paints. You're going to need the TS26 Pure White Spray Can Paint. Then you're also going to need XF1, which is the flat black, and XF15, which is the flat flesh. Recommended tools, a large and a medium screwdriver, a flathead large screwdriver, long nose pliers, side cutters, modeling knife, tweezers, and scissors. This yellow sheet is the safety precautions. It continues in the back, right here. This box right here just talks about more precautions. And this is a diagram how all of the electronics are connected. You have the wheel type transmitter and also the stick type. And on this page, we're gonna start building. Step one on Tamiya manuals is always to charge the battery. Then we're gonna start building the rear axles and the gearbox. And then we're gonna mount the 380 motor. And along the way, it tells you what tools you're gonna to need and what parts you're also gonna need. Again, this is an illustration of the electronics you will need and how they're connected. This shows how to assemble the servo saver. This diagram just tells you a little bit more about the screw that will mount the servo saver onto the servo. And then we're going to start building the steering rods, attaching the steering servo, the receiver and the ESC. This is a wiring diagram and it tells you where you should apply the zip ties to secure the wires and to tuck them away. And these are the rear axle stays. And this diagram, we're going to mount the rear axle and then we're gonna start building the rear dampers, attaching them, and then we're gonna build the front arms. Going to attach the front bumper and put on the front arms. And we're gonna put on the coil springs going to build the wheels. We're going to mount the wheels. We're going to put the battery in. And in this model, the battery tray cover is on the bottom of the car. Close the battery tray. This teaches you how to make some adjustments to the steering. Here's how to paint and assemble the driver figure. This is also where it tells you you need to paint the body with the color TS26 pure white. And this is a diagram of where all the decals should go and what order they should go in. And then finally, we're gonna mount the body. And here are some hop-up options. You can attach a size 540 motor, which is gonna be a bigger diameter and also longer motor. You can swap out the plastic bushings with ball bearings. You can replace the coil springs with actual shock dampers. Here and here is just some precautions and maintenance tips. Here's some driving instructions. This is a troubleshooting guide. And here's all of the parts that are in the kit. In case you need to find a replacement, the suspension stay forever, you would need to buy the entire C parts tree. And the part number is right there. Continuing with the A, B, C, and D parts bag. Continuation of more precautions. And the last page is a parts list with the prices. And on the back is just the logo. Thanks for watching this unboxing video of the Tamiya Grasshopper 2. If you got anything out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.